Hey everyone, Meowcity here. Welcome back. Today I thought we'd go back into the pet cemetery because I think I said this in the last few episodes. I'm not sure that we've actually beat all the apprentice level bosses in here. Now it's only level two. Technically I've done two boss quests, but I'm not sure that the first boss actually counted. That was oh geez, I'm not even sure what episode number that was. I'll put it up in the top here, the little clip. That was the skeleton mage. But I'm not sure he counted as a boss. So I'm going to go back in, dive around a little bit, and see if I can't get the pet cemetery to level 3 and see if I can't find anything else fun in here because there's a lot of interesting things about the pet cemetery. And I mean, if nothing else, I might find a veteran level boss. So who knows? And I was having a lot of a hard time finding a party I wanted to use for this. Because quite honestly, there was a lot of heroes that I wanted to use. Actually, I'm going to bring a lot of shovels there. And bandages. And medicinal herbs. We're also going to bring some Ladonium because I found out that can do a lot more than I thought it could. And torches. Not that I'm going to use it for light, but can get us some other stuff. And that's what we're going to use. So this is kind of the party I ended up with. Uh, I haven't used a cataract in a while and they can heal. So it could be interesting. Then we're also going to be using an omen seeker for the debuffs and just damage. I've really been wanting to use the slayer. I thought they could dance with the vessel. So we're going to see how that works. So <laughs> nothing else. It's going to be a learning experience. Otherwise, I was going to go with a damaging marking party again, using a lot of characters I hadn't used. But I thought this sounded more fun for now. This is really getting to me. The fact that I don't have enough blood in my estate. But there's 10 blood right there. I don't know if that's a glitch. If I uh, have something improperly installed. What's happening? But I'm going to roll the dice and see if someone dies. In fact, I'm going to keep a log of this. We have Middleton, the grave robber. We have Paris, the Exorcist. We have Hugh, the Flagellant. We have Cecil, the Hedge Knight. Do we have anyone else? We do not have anyone else. So we have four characters that are wasting, and we have ten blood. Let's see if anyone dies after this. Oh, shoot. I have to redo some supplies now. If I remember what I brought. Um, maybe some holy water, too. A key. And I think we'll call that good. Thirsty boys can quickly dehydrate living creatures in a never-ending quest to quench their thirst. That sounds so wrong to me in so many ways, but it also makes sense. And it is a very straightforward line here. Let's see what we find. See, there's that skeleton mage. That's why I really don't think it was a boss. One second here. I'm gonna... Alright, so how this is gonna work is we're gonna... I really wanted the slayer to go first, but, you know, that is what it is. I'm gonna take a skeleton mage. And let's... What would do the most damage here? Doesn't really matter. So what's the debuff? Accuracy or speed? Really want accuracy on the fencer lowered, so we're gonna windmill chakram there. Oh that looks fun. And we don't need to heal quite yet, so we're going to Rust. <laughs> and do let's tag and bag. I think that marks. Take out him. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them. Oh, and if anyone's asking, the cataract is glowing green because of the Scordon's fetter here making him immobilized. Fun stuff. We can only do that there, so let's nail strike. Oh, 
him out. We have to nail strike again if it comes to the vessel, but that's fine. Gonna have to use a slayer a tad differently, methinks. Their formation. Omen Seeker's doing well though. Maintain the offensive. Take that money. Ah, another one of these flying ones. I'm really not a fan. Interesting to see the living along with the dead here, though. Alright, so let's get... I think he has a lot of dodge, so let's get that down on him. Then we're going to Vengeful Spirit him. Down he goes. I think Tag and Bag would be the best one to do here. Or not tag and bag, run and gun. Just kind of looking at options. We have a lot of protection. Let's get rid of that. Oh, he's guarded now. Memories of preening. <laughs> so one guarded the other. Now they both have repost. Uh, so we're going to heal just because we can. Then, I suppose, let's lower that accuracy, or just take him out. A faint hope blossoms. It's minus damage. This is not minus damage. Obliterated. So we're gonna chainsaw again. Ooh, more dark diamonds. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. So, nope, cannot use the food there. Did I just do? Well, that was a thing. Whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I accidentally just dropped the food. Uh, that's not going to be good later. So, we know the medicinal herbs don't work. And holy water? Holy water. So that'll de-stress. Okay, good to know. Oh, this might get ugly uh, very fast now. Unless I can find some food. Fill the hole in the ground. Weirdest use for a shovel, I think. Usually you have to topple things over or get rid of things. Who's good with traps? 60, 90. Omen Seeker. Would you believe it? In the vessel, but you know, didn't need to de-stress him. Really gotta like some of these backgrounds. Ah, uh, we get loot for using this. Have diamonds and some food. That'll be handy. Not enough to feed the party yet, but it's something. All right, let's. Do, do, do. Who do I want to take out here? Pup's going to be easier, so let's take care of him. Just so there's less things going on. Then we can get the accuracy on the Death Rider down so it does less damage to us. I was hoping to AoE him with the pet catcher. Uh, let's then, I suppose, get the Death Rider, because that's what we can hit. No, oh, he's in range now. Nice. And run and gun. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. He 
then we're going to spam this. Take him out. I think now we can do a little bit of healing with the Cataract. 1 to 2 or 1 to 4. Let's do the worm here. And Biting Blade. Survey says... Triumphant pride precipitates. Okay, it's not a trap. And we get blood. Not that it matters too much, because it doesn't seem like anyone's drinking it, but, you know, I'll take it. Let's burn that for the enchantment. Accuracy until camp. Not Oof, that hurts. Turning the body against itself, weakening the mind. Well, got a skeleton key for this. Ringmaster. Stun chance on Flummox. Shuffle, single, and minus damage. Oh, and a speed stone. Don't see the dark dryads very often. Alright, let's... Do, do, do. Or some accuracy again. Pretty sure she can put up a pretty good heal. But let's also just get rid of these guys while we can. I think let's get rid of this zombie catcher. I wasn't expecting that one. Oh, she can summon, huh? Well, we're going to heal. Moldy Lick. Lovely. All right. She can hit the back row. Take him out. Do some damage to her. Guessing that's a mark. And crit received. Okay. Run and gun should take out the pup. I was thinking that might be a stun as well, but I guess not. Kind of forgetting some of the moves here. Take out her. And yeah, make sure she doesn't do anything. Biting blade. And that's that. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Oh, I think that's one that needs the Ladonium there. Alright, so let's entangle first. I love the dog there. <laughs> um So that is debuff resistance down. Let's just take out the fencer because I know he has repost. Some big paws. Vengeful Sprite. Vengeful Spirit, I can speak. Uh, do, do, do. I want him back. Party warmth. Let's do this again, taking him out. Uh, we're going to have to do some shenanigans here, so nail strike. Maybe we can stun him. He can summon too. I don't think I've seen that from him. To heal, I know it's not much. It is something. But never hidden. 
He really likes that back row. So what happens if he moldy licks the dog? I think that still gets hurt. <laughs> on with that heal. And this time we're going to run and gun, hitting them both. Oh. Okay. It's a buff. Oh yeah, that's from her uh, trinket there. Kind of forgetting the things there. Alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. And I know she had something that could hit row one. Made sure to put that on there. Banner of the East. A brilliant confluence of skill and fortunately tag and beg. For some reason I was thinking that was gonna do damage when I put that on him. Let's put everyone in their place. Promises success. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. But it's a supply box, meaning I might have food. If only Thank you. <laughs> the flow of otherworldly corruption. Curious is the and another one. Art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his Just own. Just out of curiosity, no. Okay. Medicinal herbs do not do much there. I will use these nightmare flower bouquets though. Get that stress down a little bit. Alrighty. Who do I want to take out here? I think... Yeah, let's make sure he doesn't guard anyone, I suppose. And then, windmill. He goes down. Doesn't really matter too much that he's on death store because he can heal before he's gonna get hit. He can run and gun, hitting both of them, chunking both of them, warmth to heal everyone. War can be healed, but never hidden. And a windmill again, just in case. Another one down. He really doesn't like our healer. <laughs> And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Now, I could try to extend this a little bit. Inspiration and improvement. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get them on like the next attack. Or not. But the vessel should, so there we go. Love that little guy. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Let's put that back. Not that it does much, but it's something. This is where these come in handy. Cleanse a specimen, get us loot. You know, I always have to wonder what happens when the last person in the line gets hit by the traps. Like, were the first three just that lucky that they didn't step on it? Or did all of them see it and then decide, no, we're not stepping on that, and then not tell the last person in line? I, I don't want the hunter doing some shenanigans and like bleeding and stressing out so let's lower his accuracy I think he's technically worse than the skeleton mage there so let's take him out if I can now he's got a little bit left I 
They really don't like her. Run and gun, hit them both. Now the guy I want down is guarded, that's not great. I do need to heal both the Cataphract and the uh, Slayer there, so that's that. A windmill again, getting that accuracy down, or just taking him out. No more guard there. Now if I AoE, I'll hit both of them, taking both of them out, so all my attacks can probably go at the Skeleton Mage. And they're down. Executed. And I'm probably just going to attack with him if I'm being honest. Not that it's going to do much, but it's not going to... Ooh. That's... Not great. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness... Well, we can still get that. All right. Take that, heal up a tad. this momentum. And on we go. One more room battle, at least over there. Good thing I still have shovels. And no more locking rooms. I wonder if those are only on the, like, actual quests um, for, like, bosses and stuff. So I don't think I've seen them anywhere else. Could be mistaken. Could be wrong there. Right, they got two skeleton mages, they got a skeleton hunter. And they're getting a little mean with that hypnotize, so let's take them out. Really? Extra damage versus mark, so this may do it. Nope. Well, we're not looking good there. From becoming unwound. We're really not looking good there. Even after I healed him. <laughs> okay. Injury and despondence. Heal that. Heroism. Warmth to heal everyone. And I think what I'm going to do is, since this one is guarded, we're going to Chakram the other mage. Yeah, mage, and take it out. Now, the unfortunate thing is both of them have repost. I think he just lost it. Yeah. And he has it for two rounds. So I'm just going to have to bust through that one. What I can do is this, and hopefully take him out. Well, I mean, I wanted him down, so that's something. Let's take him out before he hypnotizes another one of us. Vengeful Spirit. Grievous injury. Palpable. How much health does he have? This could take him out. Or not. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. He does not do much damage, but that is not why we took him, so. I guess he's technically doing the job we took him for. Success so clearly in view. Oh, and might as well try to get some stress down while we're here. Are we going to scout? No, I'm going to leave that room alone since things are not looking the best. The group kind of did what I wanted it to do, but I guess I could use some working on. So I think I'm going to have to do probably one more fight in here. Or one more uh, venture into here. It did get 
25,000 gold, which is really nice. I did get another Ruby Blossom for the sisters, but I didn't get any heirlooms, which is kind of odd. And everyone there was really, really low level, so I mean, that's what it is. Once our estate was the envy of this land. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do another one since it seems like all I can ever find in there is short, but that one's just an explore room, so hopefully this next one shows us what the boss is and we'll see if it is an apprentice or if it is a veteran or if it branches us out somewhere else because I haven't looked too far into this. I'm just kind of having fun with the mod as I see it. So, <laughs> although I will say that after the nightmare, I'm kind of leery about whatever boss this has to throw at me, because if I think about it, knowing that I can't take a marking party, there's a bunch of stuff in here that's pretty much immune to blight, so I probably shouldn't be bringing a blighting party in here, if not outright heals from blight. There's a portion of stuff in here that is immune to bleeding. What do I take other than just straight damage? Which just, to an extent, sounds boring unless it's like, Feed the leper, feed the XYZ. I guess I could take a repost team or a transformation team. I, I'm not sure what I should be bringing for the next boss, if anything, because like there's so much going on in this place that it's hard to plan not knowing like what is going on there. Because if they're the last boss was immune to blight, bleed, and marking, to the mostly even to debuffs, wasn't it? And I also couldn't move it, I think. Like, I, I technically could move it, but the chances were absolutely horrendous. So from that standpoint, I basically just have to do damage and maybe some stun? So I'm gonna have to think about that once I actually get the boss unlocked of like, okay, just what do I want to bring for flat damage to this thing and maybe buffing myself? I think that's the route I'm gonna have to go in the pet cemetery because um, I know that there's some stuff that probably I'm not sure if the mods were designed around the pet cemetery or the creator of the pet cemetery mod just also made those hero mods, but they do seem like they would work really well in there and I just don't have them downloaded. So <laughs> I'm just kind of working with what I got at this point. So uh, yeah, one more and that'll be what we do. So it'll be interesting. Still not seeing any of the newer heroes that I have unlocked, which or er, downloaded, which is kind of a shame because I've really wanted to play with a few more heroes, but at the same time, I'm not playing with some of the heroes I have. So I think the next time that I go in, I really want to try out the Thorn, despite the fact that I know she does bleeding. That'll have to be what it is. And I really want to use the Dreamer, which means I'm going to be using a marking party, I think. So I'm not sure how I'm going to work that yet. I'm going to have to figure that one out, but that'll be interesting. So um, next time, I'm probably going to be going into the pet cemetery as well. Just to see what shenanigans I can come up with that with another party and go from there. So as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and please have a good one.